Voting is taking place through the three-tier panchayat system here in West Bengal today. It's a single-phase elections after the High Court cancelled the three-phase uh, election that was scheduled by the State Election Commission. Now, uh, there were apprehensions about the security preparedness given that there was a huge shortfall of security personnel as far as the West Bengal police is concerned. The opposition, of course, was seeking uh, deployment of central forces, which the state government, the Mamta Banerjee government, vehemently opposed. So there were security personnel that have been brought in from other states like Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Sikkim. However, is that adequate in order to match the requirement of uh, security forces uh, as stated by the State Election Commission? The state government said that they are going to deploy uh, civic volunteers who are not actually policemen and they are unarmed. Uh, how uh, fruitful has that been? Well, given the amount of violence that we have seen since morning and the kind of reports that we are getting of widespread violence from across districts clearly shows that there hasn't been adequate security preparedness as far as the state government or the state election commission is concerned. Now what we are seeing on the ground is that several districts have reported uh, you know, violence. Uh, there are Death toll has now already crossed six. There have been death toll from all political parties, be it from the left, from Trinamool Congress or from the BJP. And even as we speak, uh, there are violent incidents being reported. Now why has the West Bengal Panchayat elections been so bloody? Uh, panchayat elections in the state has always had a history of uh, you know confrontation between opposition political workers and those in power uh, in the previous elections too we have seen several uh, you know casualties what has happened this year of course is that there has been apprehension of violence and because of the uh, of the uh, stance taken by the state government that they were not uh, you know request the central government to uh, to bring in central forces uh, this has created friction some amount of friction between opposition political workers and the state government but the role of the state election commission has been in focus over the past two months the state election commission conducts the state uh, panchayat elections within the ambit of state legislation and also law and order is wholly a state subject and therefore the state machinery uh, the administration, uh, the manpower and police personnel are all provided by the state government. So therefore, uh, the opposition was claiming that the role of the state election commission, which is so vital, has not been fair and that has not been neutral. And therefore, they had gone to the courts questioning the role of the state election commission. Remember, when the three phase polls was cancelled by the Calcutta High Court, uh, the state election commission was finding it difficult to assess the situation. It took them about three days to come to conclusion and they were still not being able to come out with a final date of the polls. It was almost a unilateral decision of the Mamta Banerjee government. The state government called a hurried meeting of its officials and unilaterally wrote to the state election commission that May 14 be chosen as the date. And finally, the election commission uh, conceded and announced May 14th as the date. The opposition, of course, alleged that the state election commission had bowed to the pressure being given by the state government. So clearly, uh, the situation on the ground looks tense even as polling continues across West Bengal in 20 districts, more than 50,000 booths, mammoth exercise. But how much of it is in control of the state election commission? That's a big question at this point in time.